Hello friends, this video on motion in a straight line part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Please make sure that you have watched parts 1 to 10 before going ahead with part 11. Now that we have studied average speed, instantaneous speed and average velocity, instantaneous velocity, we will take a very general and common example to have a quick review and to have a comparison of average speed and average velocity because this topic seems to be very confusing to most of the students. So let us take a very simple example. Let us suppose this is Ronnie's home. Let us suppose this is Ronnie's home and this is the church. Now Ronnie wants to go from his home to the church. Let us say Ronnie starts from his home. He takes a path somewhat like this. He roams around so many places and then he finally reaches the church. Now if this is the path which Ronnie follows and from his home to reach the church, in that case if I ask you to find the average speed and average velocity. Now what will be average speed? Average speed is equal to the total distance travelled divided by the time taken. That means the total distance that he is covering by following this path let us say that distance is equal to d. So this average speed will be equal to d divided by the time taken say correct. So this will be average speed. Now if I ask you what will be the average velocity in this case. Now average velocity would be total displacement divided by time taken. So total displacement in this case would be the shortest distance between the initial and the final position. So what is the initial position here? Home. And what is the final position? The church. So the shortest distance between home and church would be a straight line joining them. Correct? Now let us suppose the length of the straight line is d dash. So to calculate average velocity, the total displacement would be equal to d dash. That is, it will be irrespective of whichever path Ronnie follows to reach the church. So average velocity would be d dash divided by the time taken to reach to the time taken to cover this distance. That is, let us suppose the time taken be whatever the time may be taken. So basically, what I try to emphasize in this is irrespective of whatever path is followed to reach the final position from the initial position while calculating average velocity we will take into consideration the total displacement that is the shortest distance between the initial and the final position and while calculating average speed we will take into consideration the total distance that means the total length of the actual path followed so total length of the actual path and total displacement that would be the shortest distance between initial and final position. So I hope that the concept of average speed and average velocity is now clear with this example. So let us now proceed further. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.